Let's go to a little bit more old school. Alan Nutman, chief market strategist at bullseyeoption.com, is looking at Cisco. Alan, we're off the highs for Cisco, but a steady climb over the last, uh, call it a month or so. Uh, this is not one that's well off its highs, and you're looking for it to get back on it. It's somewhere in between. Yes, in some ways. I am old school, like you just said, and this is an old school company. Now, this is a stalled stock. This company is up 17% in the last two years, whereas the NASDAQ is up 100%. So if you dial down even lower, in the last three months, this stock is unchanged, and the NASDAQ's up 7%. So it's got a lot of catching up to do. And technically, I like the way that it's set up. It's got a super support level at 50, and it's been channeling here recently. Okay, so this channel to the upside also extends basically year to date, given that the steady climb has been pretty reliable. So you, how high do you think this can go, Alan? What's your target? Well, first off, just looking at just technically here, last six months between 50 and 60, that target's a breakout to 70. Um, and it's actually been in a tighter range the last three months between 55 and 60. So that target's a breakout to 65. Like I said, that super support level is at 50. Um, again, I use the old school stock substitution strategy where I buy an in the money call, a $50 call for April uh, right now with the stock at 57. Uh, this uh, this option trade for eight. So it's seven dollars in the money. It's like being long from 50. And that's something I'm very, very comfortable with. OK, so you're looking at the weekly 50 call in the money by seven bucks. Yeah, it's in the money, seven bucks. So it's going to have a delta of 80 percent, meaning it's going to act like the stock. So instead of buying 100 shares uh, and, and spending fifty seven dollars a share, you can buy one option that gives you the right to be long from $50, and that one option will cost you right now about $800. So what's important here is the April option is 150 days. Now, looking at the January option, the January option is half as much time, and it's only $75 more to buy twice as much time. So it's about math, it's about probability, um, and we do have earnings coming out. So let's be aware of that. I'm looking big picture in this stock, now, this could have a, uh, a catalyst with earnings or it could have a dip like we had in Intel. But let's remember when we did Intel and it had its dip, it went from 53 down to 45 and then it came all the way back down to 52 and filled in that gap. So if you look big picture and you use options properly, you've got a longer time horizon. You've got the ability to ride through some ups and downs and have this staying power to be right. OK, so you're buying the end of money call, looking for Cisco to keep pushing Allen broader market with volatility at 17 in the S&P 500, doing a little bit of a sideways uh, step here the last week. What do you make of uh, the just brief pause in our unrelenting rally? Well, as you can see over my shoulder, winter's coming. But stocks are still hot, my friend. That was a break <laughs> of six straight consecutive weeks of the markets being positive. We had some incredible runs. Uh, yeah, this bit of a pause, let it, let it regenerate itself. I think it's a positive that the VIX is hanging out here that's got more downside, meaning more upside uh, in stocks. And I want to talk real quickly. I'm looking just like Ben is, looking for this goal to see if this is real. We put positioned a couple weeks ago, if you remember, GDX. We did the 30 call for March. I remember. So we're set up for success. I need to see it get back above 1900, and then we can get going in that gold once again. So you still like the miners, Alan? Yep. I still like gold from a risk-reward. I thought it was a great opportunity, and let's see if it can... Uh, Behave the, we want, the way we want it to. Okay. So gold's trying to right now. GDX has kind of already made a little bit of a move. Uh, remind me, Alan, it's trading at 35 right now. At what point do you get out of this gold trade? I mean, are you looking for gold to go all the way back to like its 18-month highs, or is this just for a little bit of a relief bounce? Well, I always use the same strategy no matter what I'm trading. And uh, I always buy options and pairs, and I exit the first half of options when we get a 50% gain. And then I exit the second half uh, when it gets to this 100%. Now that happens uh, because just a modest move in these underlying stocks produces these big gains when you're trading these in the money options. So that's a money management strategy that I've used for years with you. We've left a ton of money on the table, but guess what? I'm still pretty happy. Okay, all right. Thanks, Alan Uckman. A little trade there in Cisco and a little check-in on the gold miners trade. And a reminder, the winter is indeed coming. Alan Uckman. Okay. Chief Market Strategist at BullseyeOption.com. Thank you, Alan. When we come back, let's talk some cloud and consumer data platform.